So this year, for the first time, we have gotten ST Maui fruit. And we actually got quite a bit of it. There were, have been a couple of videos where we've tasted ST Maui, and it's been a really nice fruit. One of those videos had a comment. Uh, the commenter said that they actually liked ST Maui like when it was past ripe, a little bit overripe, that it didn't develop the musky flavors that a lot of mangoes do. So we were fortunate enough to be able to find a very awful looking ST Maui. ST Maui is normally a pretty fruit, but this one, not so pretty. Uh, it looks like it's ready for the compost heap. Uh, so, Let's try an overripe ST Maui. I'm guessing that this level of overripe is probably past the overripe stage that the commenter was commenting about. Um, but heck, what the heck? We'll we'll try it anyway. They don't become poisonous, as far as I know. <laughs> so here we go. This is this is the slice and. Right over here you can see that we've got a little bit of the black going into the flesh, but the rest of the flesh looks pretty good. It looks pretty normal. Yeah, I don't taste off flavors in this. It's amazing. Because this, this fruit really doesn't look delicious from the outside. But I would say that I like it better at the stage that I was eating at, at before. I like to eat it when it um, is, is just ripe, has just ripened to the stage where it's not that soft, a little bit soft, and you get a little smell from it. Uh, usually there's a nice balance of acid and sweet in that, and at this stage, it's pretty much lost its acid flavor. But if I were really hungry and had limited options, I would still eat this ST Maui.